Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we're talking about Bonnie Bear. Let's get started. In 1939, Fred Quimby, the head of MGM's animation department, wanted a new star character. He wanted a character that could rival the likes of Mickey Mouse and Porky Pig. So, he assigned Rudolph Isaac to create a new character. And what was that character? Bonnie Bear. Bonnie's first cartoon was The Bear Who Couldn't Sleep, which released on June 10th, 1939. <laughs> Bonnie Bear found success after his first few cartoons which means MGM finally found their cartoon star. Until February of 1940, when they released the cartoon Puss Gets the Boot, which was the first appearance of Tom and Jerry. Tom and Jerry quickly overshadowed Bonnie Bear, becoming MGM's number one cartoon star. But they pushed forward. Bonnie Bear's fourth cartoon, The Rookie Bear, was nominated for Best Animated Short Film at the 1941 Academy Awards. Here comes that lucky winner, all set for that nice long vacation. He's going to have a swell time. Yes, sir. Most of the time, Bonnie's just trying to go to sleep. But because of circumstances, he can't get a good night's rest. Even when he's trying to do other activities, like planting a garden, he can't, and he always messes up. In the last batch of Bonnie cartoons, they became, for lack of a better word, cheaper. The backgrounds and character designs became flatter and more simple. I can only assume this happened because of budget cuts. This did happen to Tom and Jerry, but it happened four years after it did to Bonnie. The last Bonnie Bear cartoon was Bird Brain Bird Dog which released on July 31st, 1954. <laughs> okay, bird dog, you can go out and get me something to shoot at. Even though Bonnie stopped appearing in theatrical shorts, that didn't mean he stopped appearing. He made a few appearances in the 1980 show, The Tom and Jerry Comedy Show. And he made a cameo in The Tom and Jerry Show from 2014. But besides that, he's a forgotten character. A relic from the golden age of animation. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.